Hey everyone, Josh Baldwin here with Vegan Fit. So what is time under tension? It's a basic principle that measures the time your muscles are under tension within a set. Most of us do six to 12 reps in a set and the actual time under tension is about 20 seconds. But with the time under tension method, you're gonna do about a two second lift and a four second eccentric motion. So if I'm doing curls, you'll curl up for two seconds and then a slow four second release. So at the end of the set, you're gonna actually be getting 45 seconds, maybe a minute 15, depending on the weight you use. So you're gonna to have to use a lighter weight when you do this type of method. So it's safer, A, but also what's nice about it is, even though you're using a lower weight, because the time under tension is increased, you're actually gonna get even more hypertrophy in the muscles. Also on many exercises like sit-ups or curls, you're gonna to wanna to stop just shy of completion because there's no tension in those ranges. Whereas let's say on a bench press, you can pretty much complete the rep, but don't hang out at the lockout. If you hang out at the lockout, you're gonna be missing out on the tension. So make sure you get right back to the rep to get maximum time under tension. Remember that the release or the eccentric part of the rep is the most important as it causes the most muscular damage, encouraging more growth than the concentric portion of the lift. So how long should your set be? Most studies show between 45 and 75 seconds is the optimal time for maximum hypertrophy. So if you're doing your set, make sure though that you're not just doing the time, you gotta be working hard. So at the end of that 45 seconds or a minute, or whatever it may be, you should be hitting the absolute failure. Muscular contractions during resistance training compress blood vessels that feed the working muscle. This restricts circulation to the muscle, creating a hypoxic environment. Although the exact mechanisms aren't clear, research shows that an intermittent hypoxic state enhances muscle growth. Given that blood supply is restricted for longer periods of time during sets with extended time under tension, it can be hypothesized that such training may lead to a more pronounced anabolic response. So all of this sounds great, right? But let's look at a few studies to see if this actually translates to a better workout and better results. This study by LaChance, titled Influence of Cadence on Muscular Performance During Push-Up and Pull-Up Exercise, studied subjects performing push-ups and pull-ups with several different cadences. It was shown that those performing the slower reps had an increased total work duration, possibly creating greater hypertrophy. The question is, does a greater duration lead to actual improvements in muscle growth? This study by Gerald Mangine shed light on what to expect when it comes to actual results. The study had many conclusions, some better for time under tension and some better for high intensity low reps. But after the eight weeks were up, the results were very similar, showing that the time under tension lightweight principle wasn't better for gains, but wasn't worse either. However, it was shown to be inferior to intense low reps for strength building. So why follow the time under tension principle? The main reason is because you're gonna be using a lighter weight since you're gonna be going for longer periods of time. So if you're gonna do, let's say a minute, your four to five rep max weight on let's say a squat, you couldn't do that for a minute, it's not possible. But your 15 rep max, you could do that for about a minute. If you go nice and slow, you'll probably end up with around eight to 10 reps and you're gonna be absolutely shot, but with a much lower risk of injury. Think about when you do squats or bench press. If you do a lot of weight that you can only do three or four or five reps, obviously putting a lot of stress on your joints, when you do a lighter weight like your 15 rep max, it just feels more comfortable. You don't feel like your joints are hurting. You're not tearing ligaments. So it's gonna be much safer with very similar results. These lower weight, slow reps will also target type one slow twitch muscle fibers far more than heavyweight low rep sets. The main thing I hope you take away from this video is that you should be working in the time under tension principle into your workouts. So don't exclusively perform the time under tension principle, but work it in with your high weight, low rep sets. So make sure you get a nice balance there. That way you're working a lot of slow twitch type one muscle fibers, and you're working a lot of fast twitch type two muscle fibers, and you're hitting everything. And if getting a better physique is your primary goal, you're gonna get basically the exact same results, maybe even better results with the time under tension principle as you would from lifting super heavy weights and you're gonna be a lot safer and way less injury prone. Just make sure, remember, if you're doing a 45 second set or a minute set, work hard. You should be at absolute failure by the end of the timer. So I hope you guys like this video. Definitely give this a shot if you haven't tried it before and let me know down in the comments how it goes for you. Please hit the like video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you at the next one. Shut down.